Hey everybody, Asher here with the Crypt of the Necrodancer Daily Challenge for April 28th, 2015. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Now, for those of you who may wonder where yesterday's went, I'm not necessarily going to be able to do this challenge every single day, just depending on when I can record, but I did get a few warm-up runs in ahead of time, and we'll see if that did me some good. It's possible it did, it's possible that it did not. I'm already kind of confusing myself with just the skeleton that's coming there, so coin multiplier down. I think it's partially because I've been playing some higher levels, and it was like, wow, this is really slow by comparison. So it always just takes a little bit of an adjustment. But once we get to this point in the song, usually I feel the beat a little more. So yeah, Grip to the Necker Dancer, still really recommend it. It is a fun, rhythm-based game of just going around and romping and having shopkeepers sing to you sometimes, so... I don't know if I want Enchant Weapon or point five Defense, those are... I kind of like to pick up a health item this round. Oh, it's Red Bats. It always had to be Red Bats. That's not good. So Obsidian Torch is good. Red Bat Room, not really worth. So I hate... If, I would hate it if I were to lose this run right now. Ugh, alright. I'm gonna do just one more all zones run because that was going pretty well before. Yeah, just red bats I still struggle with. I practice against them and I do okay. And now it's just like, I don't know. I'm just taking hits I shouldn't take, I guess. So blow you up. Nothing much here. But yeah, that was a run that was starting to feel like, okay, maybe, maybe one day on these daily challenges I'll actually do good on the challenge proper. Although I do need to just kind of practice and get better at the game first. Which is what a little bit of this is about. Can't take it too hard. It is still a roguelike. It took me a really long time and actually quitting FTL for months because I got so frustrated with the final boss. Much less reaching it before I finally beat it. And I got plenty of victories since then. So hopefully this game will treat me kind of similar. Is that if I put enough time in, eventually it'll stick. Been kind of struggling with the uh, gold bat lately though, so... This could be another one that ends pretty quickly. Hope not. Once again, I don't think I'm meaning to have sticky keys, but I kind of have sticky keys anyway. There we go. Gold bat down. We can probably dig through this floor here for maybe some treasure, some profit. Now we have trap room. At least I can mercifully make it all the way through here. Alright. So my first goal is to get a health item. Let's see if I can make that happen. Almost kind of want to visit the shop first. That was risky. Yeah, there we go. We will take that to the bank. There's probably not a secret room right here. Right. I found that I really like picking up torches as well, so maybe we'll be able to cash that in here. So, 50 armor. Spear's good. I don't know if that spear is great, but it's better than the dagger. I'll take the survivability this time. See if I can bank on a better weapon. I mean, I don't typically like buying weapons in the shop unless I really like them. Plus, the X-Rock over here may be able to get us something good. I prefer, while the spear is good because it has increased range, I kind of prefer the whip or something else. Let's see if I don't bomb myself this time. Okay, it's a uh, one of these. Sell one of your items. Well, we don't really want to sell one of our items, so that's too bad. Next floor. Well, let's see. Could always be something here, but there's not. Okay, now we're back to speed that I'm more used to. Oh, that was risky. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, for some reason buttons are just, sometimes I hit them and they work, sometimes they don't. Maybe I should play with the dance pad instead. Alright, reveal dungeon minimap, hold two weapons, or flail with a gold after pickup. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not going to be able to afford the flail. Is the map worthwhile? I mean, I'll reveal the secrets. I normally don't play with the map. But, I mean, that's the shop for this floor. Let's, let's get it. It's something new. There we go. So now we can see everything. The one downer is going to be remembering where I've actually been before. Okay, that was unnecessary damage to take. That's why I have some armor. Okay, so we have something banging through the wall. You can tell by the floor shape. Oh, red, red bat again. Alright. 
Wait, I don't even I didn't even mean to hit that. We'll take the pickaxe. Hello, red dragon. You know who I don't like fighting with the dagger? The red dragon. Yep. Oh well. That's why I don't like fighting the red dragon. We'll try one more time. I'm just kind of like. I'm still at that point of the game where I kind of need a better weapon to help me along instead of just being able to do everything with a dagger. Which means I'm going to have a really good time with some of the other characters. I mean, I've had suggested to me before that I should play with with the bard. And that's not a terrible suggestion. Okay, blood room. This could be good. Plus one defense. High damage after gold pickup. Or consumed, uh, consumes torches on walls. Hmm. There's anything up here, there's not. I guess I'll take the armor. I could take everything and kill myself, but we're not gonna do that. There we go, that was good. As long as we don't get monkey right here. There we go, chased. There we go. I'm trying to take the conservative approach, I can. Here are the shopkeepers somewhere. I mean, the good thing about that last run was that I asked for health, I got health. Because I'm getting just off the rhythm here. Slow down. Bomb spell. Well, that's useful. And an additional bomb. You need additional pylons. We'll see. I don't, I'm wondering what that bomb recharge is like. I could actually kill the shopkeeper for the crown of three, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Cat and Nine Tails is uh, fun. I don't really care about that. We'll get the vision range for now. I may go back for the Cat and Nine Tails. I just wish it was a stronger one instead of the plain vanilla one. And anything that'll give us some extra utility is fine in my book. Let's see what's over here. Okay, nothing. Unfortunately, hitting the wall like that did kill my multiplier, but that's too bad. Apparently, I'm doing a really good job of killing my own multiplier anyway, so nothing there. And what do we got here? Gold bat again. Gonna pin myself in. Could have taken out that red bat. We'll just go down. Just go to the next floor. I like this music better. I bet there's a rock that I missed bombing though, so that's not good. Vision and trap site. There we go. Normally I have to pay blood for that one. Hello? Wow, I actually got hit. Just by not what I thought. Okay, good. Had to get some serious time there for just a second, so Minotaur down. Minotaur didn't hit me that hard, though. Okay, there's a shopkeeper that is not hit me. Wow. Bad damage. Not paying attention to what I'm running into. Zombie is just so happy dancing and shaking right there. But it's weird because I've got kind of one move for some of these two, so let's try the bomb spell. Okay, so 25 kills or 1.5 hearts. Well, wow, if I can pay 500, I can get a huge bow or infinite storage. Or two empty heart containers. Well, I already have one of those. So we gotta get some healing here. Or if I can somehow manage to scrape out 500 coins by the end of this floor. That's not gonna happen. Unless I like bomb every little thing in that room, and even then. It's not gonna happen. So it's just too bad. I just take so much damage on these first floors. And I know it's gonna come with practice. So I mean, you gotta practice. Okay, see that was bad damage, but I just put myself in a vice there. Okay. Reward, speed, penalize is sloth. Well, I'm pretty slothy, so... 
Let's just see if we can find any health or anything resembling a uh, good fortune. The answer to that's probably going to be a big fat no. So those little poultry guys are still trying to get me. I've gotten very lucky with these gold slimes. They've actually been giving me some problems lately too. Let's see if this is anything worthwhile. Maybe. Transmogrify one of your items. Yes. Rapier's good. Oh, next level. Well, good thing I got that in time. That would have sucked. Okay, so we're still about to die. And that is a bat cave, which we do not like. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna run away from me now. Yeah, it's like I've been practicing on this floor a little more, so I kind of understand this beat a little better. Of course, I can run myself into danger right here. Of course, those of you who do not know, this is the title theme of Crypt of the Necrodancer. Just gotta watch it because some of these guys have more life, but. Alright. The good news is that is a room full of traps. Hello! Oh! That was hilarious. I was just like, hello, red dragon who's going to fry me. That's not bad, though. I mean, it's just one of those things where you run a little more, you play a little more, you get a little better still. I mean. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the high score of the boards here. Because I had I was floating some money here. Still not that great. All zone nones, cadence, and I am at 7,000. So, it looks like somebody's a hacker. Probably. Of course he doesn't have a replay. But, otherwise, yeah. That's Crypt of the Necro Dancer for today. Keep on the lookout. I'm still going to be trying to do daily challenges. Work every day just a little bit more to improve. Obviously, there's other content. You see me post a lot of Kerbal Space Program. There's some Convoy. There's a few runs for uh, FTL that I have to put up, too, so look out for those in the coming days. Otherwise, thank you for watching. This is Asher. Probably said Way to Fail there at some point in the interim. My name used to be Way to Fail. I did change it recently. My subscriber base actually got a little bit confused. I've actually shed about 30 subscribers since then. But hey! I uh, appreciate those of you all who have stuck around because I've been getting a lot more interaction lately, so that's a nice change. But thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me about your Crypto the Necrodancer successes because, well, I'm still working on mine. See you next time.